everyone, my name is Perry, I'm an electrical engineer, and in this video we're going to watch Dr. Stone Season 2, Episode 8 to see how accurate all the science and technology in this anime really are. Hey everyone, Perry here. I have amazing news. I will be in a movie. That's right, I will be in my first feature comedy movie called Insta Famous. This movie is going to be premiering in Canton, Michigan on April 10th. The tickets to the premiere will be in the link in the description. Obviously, I'm going to be there. This will be a great opportunity for a meet and greet. I've never done one of those before, but this is the best chance to meet me, best chance for me to meet you guys. If you're in the area, buy a ticket. I would love to see you. You're going to watch a movie with me. It's going to be a hilarious comedy. I think it's going to make for a great time. Go ahead, buy the tickets. I hope to see you there. Stay fresh and stay golden. Yeah, not only will it look like a giant Hollywood budget explosion, it will also be a giant Hollywood budget explosion. Like, I don't know why people say, like, when they're like, because I've heard this term before, it was like, well, it's a Hollywood, like, explosion. I was like, well, it's, unless it's, like, CGI and just completely, like, computer generated, that is a real explosion. Like, just because it's controlled doesn't make it any less real. <laughs> exaggerated version of a sound cannon, shot cannon, whatever they call it, that thing will work the way that they're showing it. Our inner ear is responsible for maintaining the body's equilibrium and if you disrupt that, like just as they're showing here, it will cause people to collapse, especially if you're within that close range of the sound cannon. There's fluid in the semicircular canals of your inner ears and that moves accordingly to the way that your head is moving back and forth. And this fluid motion is actually detected by hair cells which will send like nerve impulses all the way to your brain and that tells your brain like how your head and body are oriented. And if you disrupt the flow of this fluid within those ear canals then your body thinks that you're actually like not balanced when in reality you are. Like you could be standing completely upright but if those, like, if the fluid inside of your, um, like, inner ear canals is, like, moving back and forth, your brain thinks that your body is, like, leaning forward, when reality is you're not. So to correct that, like, it's telling your, like, your head and your shoulders and your legs, lean back so that we can be straight. But when you lean back, you just fall backwards because you're actually standing upright the entire time. This problem will exist with everybody. It's not like if you're deaf that this sound cannon will not affect you. Actually, it'll be, it'll be much worse. Like, people who are deaf, like, one-third of them actually have significant balance problems. What the parabolic shape is doing is actually concentrating all of those sound waves in the direction that Senku wants it to go. And the reason that they actually use copper, the material is very important in this case, is because the metal will actually reverberate the sound much better than some other like softer materials would. For example, if he just cut down a bunch of trees and he made that sort of like dome out of wood, it would... It, but if you made the dome out of wood, then it would not have the same effect as like the, the copper um, like cannon that it does right now. Sound waves will bounce off metal much better than they would wood from a tree and you know it's like if a tree falls in a forest and no one hears it. Oh, they just killed him. Yeah, I don't think he's getting up. How did they know that he was on Senku's side? Like, for all, like, Skasa knew, the guy just ran to the direction where he heard the giant explosion. Well, okay, well, actually. I mean, he did just hear him screaming, Run, run, they're coming, so that probably didn't help his case. Yeah, <laughs> That's exactly what I was saying earlier about Gen. It's like he's not actually loyal to Senku, he's just loyal to science. Right? Like if, if someone else can make him Coca-Cola, he is gone. 
right? Like the only thing that this guy really misses is 21st century technology, which everybody on like the um, Skasa side probably misses it a lot too. They just can't show it out of fear that they're gonna die again, or I guess they didn't die when they were petrified, but they just, they want to live, right? That's just a natural thing. You want to be alive. I wonder if Senku made a bunch more Senku Cola and just kind of distributed that amongst the Skasa forces that they were trying to turn, like as they're listening to uh, Lillian Weinberg songs, just to be like, hey, um, we have a lot more 21st century stuff if you guys want to join in. Like, it's not just the music, right? But if you let this guy live, we'll eventually figure out air conditioning and heat and better shelters and just cleaner water. Everything that is amazing about the time we live in right now. They did last way longer than I thought they were going to as well, but the like the, the bamboo and the spears, like they didn't even do anything. Right? Like really what actually brought this tank down was just the depth of the hole. That's it. Like, I feel like it would have been more effective if they just built like a giant like trench, right? Because like one of the whole purposes is that you can't drive vehicles over it if the width is large enough, then the tires aren't going to work. But I guess like it's so hard to prepare for these things. Like I, I got to keep I got to keep in mind that as an audience watching this, it's not like like, I, I have information on both Senku and Skasa's side, but it's so like, I, in my mind, I'm like, why doesn't one side just do this or just do this? But it's like, they don't know that yet. It, it's more just like a, like a, I don't know, some form of irony that I know about it, but the actual characters in the story don't. Even though it was made for a one-time use, it doesn't look like that tank has, like, suffered enough damage to not be salvageable, if that's even a word, salvageable. But you guys know what I mean. I feel like it's definitely worth it if they just pick that thing up and then just push, right? Because even though, like, one of those wheels is damaged, it's, you know, front-wheel drive anyway, like, they can just keep it moving. <laughs> anime scene <laughs> right and it, it's like uh, obviously the actual force of that air wouldn't you know send anyone backwards but the big thing that i gotta think about is taiju would actually feel the brunt of all that force because he's the one who's right in front of it like if you wanted to avoid getting hit by that sound wave just stand behind taiju and you're not gonna feel it as much as the other guys on the side but i have one thing too is that like i guess i don't know if they did this intentionally or they just kind of went with it taiju would not lose his balance or he wouldn't lose his equilibrium as the other people around him would because like his brain is actually using like the, the his um eyes and all of his senses are being activated so it's like when you're yelling into that um like sound cannon you're not going to be affected as much because your brain is aware of what's going on like as you're doing everything it's not going to be a pleasant experience but you're also not going to feel as bad as the other guys behind you if anyone has been privileged enough to actually be woken up by their parents by like when they take just like a pan from the kitchen and just start hitting it with like a spoon, that gets really loud really, really fast. And that will wake up anybody. And I'm wondering like how come Senku hasn't like had other ways of, because like normally for other weapons that he's made, it's not like a, like a one fail safe way of like losing it or I don't know if that's a proper way of me wording it but most of the weapons that Senku has made has more than just a one-time use and even this tank like it had like two weapons right it had the cannon and it just like ran through whatever traps were out there and it revealed all of them and like with the sound cannon I'm surprised that he didn't come up with more than just one way to use it because for most of the things in this anime he's had more than one use for them and I'm just I'm surprised that of all things that he didn't find out that you can use this for more than just one thing. Senku probably got that design from just a satellite dish on Earth trying to communicate with a real satellite in space or just a dish on top of people's roofs that give them cable. And the reason that that shape in particular is used so many times is because this is just the most optimal way that we have found of sending all of the signal or waves or whatever it is you're trying to you know send in that particular direction. It's, it has very good directionality and the reason that they're not bigger or smaller is because the smaller you make them, the more precise the actual waves will be, but 
like sometimes strength is not what matters because like for example like the, the if it's like this big you're sending a lot of weak signals whereas if it's this big you're sending one really strong signal but that one strong signal can actually miss whatever target you're trying to hit so you have to find a balance between like a lot of weak ones and like one strong one so they found like this pretty much works like sending medium signals in like that one direction will get the um satellite you're trying to reach or whatever signal you're trying to communicate this is what works best what's the point of getting the revival fluid like what i mean i'm sure there's like a plan behind it but what is senku gonna possibly do with this in the moment to fight whatever situation that's going on outside of the cave like the, the, it's not like they're carrying around like another stone person who's like you know super good at like wrestling or, right it's like what is he gonna possibly use that for like how, how is that gonna help at all in the situation thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and if you want to watch more dr stone it is on the way if you want to see any other movie tv show or anime let me know in the comments and i'll get to it as soon as i can Thank you all so much for watching, stay fresh, and stay golden.